Thrilled to be back on Isla, back at Laphroaig, and back again with Barry, distillery manager at the fabulous Laphroaig Distillery. Here we are in warehouse number one. Correct. What can, what can you tell us about this stunning location that we're in? Well, I guess it's been our stronghold for over 100 years now, mm. warehouse uh, number one. It sits right here on the south coast of Isla. Yep. Anyone that's seen pictures from external Laphroaig, you'll, yep. it's the building with the Laphroaig <laughs> yeah. written across yep. it. Yeah, sitting right on the shoreline there. Yeah, no, that's, that's amazing. It's nothing quite like a Dunnage warehouse like this in terms of atmosphere <laughs> and sort of perfect conditions for, I know. for maturing yeah. whiskey. Um, so today, obviously, we're very excited to be um, talking about this whiskey. This is the 2023 fish bottling from Laphroaig um, called Karchus. What is what is Karchus? What can you tell us about it? Karchus is Gaelic for friendship. Okay. And so when we started the Fajila bottlings and yep. the Fajila releases, supporting the, the community with the, the music and whiskey festival, yep. Karchus was decided as the most kind of perfect name yeah. for each release, yep. uh, especially with the the connection with the friends of Lefroig. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Fabulous. And um, Karchus, as far as I'm aware, has been going for, as you say, a, a couple of years. Each year seems to be a different kind of combination of casks or finishes. Um, what kind of cast types do we have going on this year? So this year, as you can see, it's White Port and Madeira. Okay. It's a marriage of casks. Sure. And uh, it's certainly different to uh, what we've seen in the past. Yeah. It's White port is, isn't really something you see too much with whisk, on a whiskey label, actually. It's kind of, I've seen a handful of examples recently, but not too many at all. Um, what sort of flavour profile does the, the white port contribute specifically? I think that's the part that will maybe keep most folk uh, guessing and interested okay. because yeah. it's not what you'd expect. It's not yes. typical port type, yeah. cast type flavours. Yep. It's, uh, it's something different. Okay, that's, yeah, because yeah, as you say, the Port, you know, port casks yep. have been a thing for many, many years. Generally, give kind of fruity, sweet yep. characteristics, maybe a bit of spiciness to it as well. So, very interested to see how the the white port. Yep, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to lead you in any way. Sure, I'm yeah, just, don't I won't say anything first. Perfect. I'll let you. So it's white port um, cask married with Madeira yes. cask matured whiskey as well. Correct. Madeira is probably slightly more prevalent in. Whiskey a little bit, and I know it's very common with with rum maturation. Yeah, I mean we've so. uh, we've played with Madeira in the mm, past. Yeah. We had the Madeira Karchus. Yes, uh, yeah. not so long ago as well. Uh, it's something that works really well, I think, yep. with Laphroaig. Yeah. It's a really nice kind of you know balance between the yep. two. Yeah, uh, they complement each other really well. But this year, with the addition of the the white port, it's mm. it's given it a new dimension. It's okay. probably the best way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yep. very interesting. And I think for each year when you're selecting what the catchers the fish release will be like, do you see it as an opportunity to try something a bit different? Obviously, Lafroy ten year old is, you know, has a very, you know, set in stone flavour profile that you can't tweak too much. Um, is this kind of an opportunity for Lafroy to get a bit creative? I would say yes and no. Okay. I would say yeah, absolutely. It's a chance mm. to do something creative, something yeah. new, yep. something that, uh, unique each time. Sure. But at the same time, you know, you, for me, you especially want to listen to the feedback. Mm, you know, you, you hear a lot of what people like about the Freud, what, yeah, yeah. and you got a lot of passionate fans. You know, yep. what comes with passion is a lot of honesty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. when they when they travel here and they're talking at the distillery and they're you know they're requesting maybe different this is and that. Mm, yeah. So in the back of my mind, when you think when it comes to creating cartridges, you should always kind of be thinking, well, yeah. what was fantastic that we've had in the past? Yeah. What is fantastic that we do now? And how do we put a spin on that? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so I guess there's both, there's two ways to look at it. Yeah. You kind of want to, you know, twist what's, what folk love and yeah. give a different dimension, mm. but also at the same time, maybe chuck something completely random and new in the liquid Yeah, port. So a lot of people often don't know what they want. They think they know what they want, but yep. it's often until you give them something completely out of left field, they think, actually, that's even better than what I thought I wanted. Probably the best way to describe, describe yeah. like left field. <laughs> yeah, People exactly. have no idea for the first time what they're yeah. getting. Yeah. Uh, and I think this this is kind of similar on that. Mm. You know, in the, in the past, when it's it was Lefroig finished in, in casks that they were familiar with, yep. they had a maybe idea mm. of the flavour yeah. that was coming. Uh, this one... I think it'll surprise folk. Sure. Yeah, I, I think it will. Believe, 
teased me enough so far. I think without further ado, shall we crack this open and see, Absolutely. see what it's all about? So this one um, is bottled at 52.3%. That kind of stronger strength, does it, do you feel that works well with the Laphroaig Spirit? Spur? It allows the complexity it, it to does. shine it's, through. It's not cask strength. Mm. It might, most folk might think 52.3 kind of indicates cask strength. It doesn't. Mm. Yeah. The 2.3 indicates 2023. So two, oh, 2023 this 2023 year. 2023 okay, yeah, yeah. is this year's release. So sure. last year the, the strength was 52.2. Nice. I see what you're Nine. doing there. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good. Cool. Excellent. And um, as with most cartridge releases, there's not an age statement on it. But not for Lefroy, no. you know, it's, you know, I think as we've said before, it's not a, shouldn't really be a relevant hallmark of, Quality, it's, yeah, you know, it's ready when it's ready and it's exactly it's the distillate There's and the cast types. Um, some people prefer age, some people prefer mm. just what the liquid in the bottle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess everyone's yeah. got their different opinions and yeah. uh, what they want. But uh, this one hasn't got an age statement on it. Yeah. Uh, well, in fact, you tell me. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you on tell the colour, it's not. You know, super, super pale. It has got a bit of bit of colour to it. Does the white port and the Madeira, the combination of the two, do they contribute quite a bit of colour? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. there's no this is just natural colour. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the colour you're seeing here is all just from yeah. uh, mainly the Madeira casks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. Excellent. Well we'll give us a little sniff. Um yeah, we say it's do you think you could pick that out as Lafroig from a it's, series of, of Samples nosing blind. Um, oh, I'd hope so. Yeah, I mean, I would yeah. hope so because it's got straight away, it's got your Lefroy richness. The smoke's yep. there, the iodine's there. Yep. But the the underlying is the sweetness. Mm. It's this massive sweetness. It's almost like a creme brulee and a maybe a burnt creme brulee. Yeah. Or overly burnt. Yeah, I find with kind of regular. Port, the, the sweetness that contributes can sometimes be a little bit too sweet and maybe a little bit sickly and you sometimes get that and with some expressions it's like an artificial sweetness like kind of strawberry laces and uh, that sort okay. of thing you can sometimes get um none of that at all on this one um, no and it, it's almost which i think some folk might be surprised about with it being the madeira especially in there mm. and the white port yeah. It's got more of a citrusy, apple kind of yeah, green apple, okay. kind of stew, kind of custardy sweetness nose rather than the more kind of rich, yeah. kind of, yeah, you know, your typical notes you would get from a, a sherry sure. type cask. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a surprise that people will get. Yeah. It's, oh, wait a minute, it's more zesty and fresh and, yeah, it's than what I was expecting. Yeah, well, give us a taste. Well, thanks again for having us. Slange. Yep. Mm. Yeah, it's got a, yeah, it's lovely. Um, I think the, the, the strength works. I think yeah. any, if it was, you know, 46, you'd be like, oh, maybe a little bit sort of anticlimactic, but the strength gives it that oomph. It's got some really interesting flavors coming through, which I assume have come from the white port and Madeira combination. And this is what, again, that I'm getting it right now, if you didn't know it's Lefroig in the nose, you know it's Lefroig in yes, the taste. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. absolutely do. The the other surprising factor was okay, you're getting all these flavours in the nose, and then you taste it, and it's it's more like what you'd exp it's more like the Madeira then taking over on the taste, mm. and getting more kind of like chocolate orange, maybe kind of burnt orange, mm. and it's like it's almost like the whole time that Lefroig bonfiery. Yeah. Kind of peat smoke just lingers and lingers and lingers, mm -hmm. and it allows all these little kind of rich, like kind of dark chocolate, all these kind of things just yes. kind of yeah. spring about. And yeah, there's loads to kind of unpack actually. Ah, yeah. that, that's just a good way of putting it. Loads to unpack, and it's yeah, I love a whiskey that has that complexity to it. Um, you know, with some, you know, particularly with like super aggressively peated whiskies, yeah. it's like a slap of smoke in the face, and then that's that's it. And there's not really any subtlety or nuances to it. This there's lots kind of under the surface that you can take your time with and yeah. revisit. Um, 
I mean, it's, it's classic, typical of Freud. It's just that lovely long finish that's different to any other kind of oh, yep. 99% of the Freud's. Yep. It's just got that different... The smoke's big in it, and it doesn't go away, it doesn't mm. die down, and it's a long, long finish, and it's yep. still going. Uh, but again, it's that kind of rich, dark chocolate coconut, yeah. not coconut, uh, that kind of cocoa powder. Okay, yeah. Kind of just sitting near the back. It just keeps kind of raising its head a wee bit, reminding you it's there. Yeah, it's not... Yeah, I think it's it's complex without being difficult, I think. And that's often a sort of tightrope that some, some whiskies walk. Um, you get some that are really just like a, a, an animal and very kind of rugged and quite hard work to, to taste. But this is packed full of flavour um, and just a really enjoyable drink as well. Um, I think for those who are obviously used to Laphroaig 10 Ten-Year-Old or Laphroaig Select, kind of entry-level ones, um, yep. how would you describe this as a step up in terms of uh, intensity and complexity? Or is it a kind of, you one? know, it's... Three. It takes uh, your iodine, your peat smoke, and your richness mm. from the ten. Yeah. It takes. Uh, you've also got the higher ABV. Yes. So yeah, yeah. yeah if, you know, if we've been drinking Laphroaig for a long time, we absolutely yeah. appreciate it. We yeah, yeah. Enjoy the, the flavors you're talking about, the complexity. Maybe for someone new to Laphroaig. Yeah. Going straight from ten year old, this might seem like a, a yeah. big jump. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, maybe we build up to it. Yeah. But you absolutely. never know. Everyone's palates are different. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. But no, it's. As always from Lafroy, it gets packed full of flavour, packed full of intrigue. And yeah, a real treat for those heading to, to the island for, for the festival. Something a bit, a bit different. As you say, the White Port and the Madeira, bringing those two together in, in harmony is, is a real achievement. So yeah. yeah, a great dram. And yeah, thanks for having us here and for sharing it. So, no problem. Cheers. Cheers again. Cheers.